Zoe Levesque, 10, was attending a practice session with her youth bowling league on Wednesday night when she became a survivor of the latest mass shooting to hit the United States. At least 18 people are believed to be dead and 13 injured from the mass shooting in Lewiston, Maine, which appears to have unfolded in multiple locations, including the bowling alley where Zoe was practicing and at a local bar, officials said. Zoe told that she remains in shock after the shooting, which she and her mom, Megan Hutchinson, survived by barricading themselves inside a back room of the bowling alley. I just never thought someone would walk in and then just start shooting and taking people's lives away, Zoe said. People have families and they're young people who still have long lives ahead of them, and people shouldn't be coming in and doing that. That's not okay. She continued, it's just like, why? Why do people do this? I don't really know what to say. Zoe and her mom said they were running from the suspected gunman when a bullet grazed Zoe's leg. My pants had, like, a bullet thing in it and then I looked and it wasn't that deep, Zoe said. I was scared, but it didn't hurt, and I didn't know what happened until I started bleeding. Zoe said she continued to run because she was scared for her life. I wasn't worried about that, she said of her injury. I was more worried about, like, am I going to live? Am I going to make it out of here? Like, what's going to happen? Are the cops going to come? Hutchinson told that she saw the suspected gunman when he entered the bowling alley. The person of interest in the shooting, Robert Card, is still at large and has been on the run for hours, according to law enforcement. When I turned around, I saw the shooter right behind me, Hutchinson said. He had just come in the door. Hutchinson said she and Zoe and other families ran into a storage area between the lanes and barricaded themselves in a room for around 20 minutes. While we were in the back room, another child came in whose arm had a massive bullet in it and he was bleeding profusely, Hutchinson said. We barricaded in there and another parent was in the room with me. She had a phone and she called 911. Hutchinson said while the kids hid under a desk in the room, she worked to move a shelf against the door to the room to further barricade it. When the police arrived, Hutchinson said she and others were too scared to let them inside the room. They were banging on the door, but we actually wouldn't open the door. We didn't want to open the door. We weren't sure who it was. We couldn't identify them, she said. But eventually, the police just pushed their way in and they took us out into the parking lot. Like her daughter, Hutchinson said she remains in shock after surviving the shooting. It's very surreal. It's a moment in time, a feeling, I never want to feel again, she said. It's really sad. This was probably the worst night of our lives.